Are you tired of having to restart your node application over and over until it's becoming annoying as fuck? Not only is it annoying as hell, but it could save you some serious time. So let's not waste any more of your time and let's get right into the video. You can follow this tutorial along with an existing project, but for the sake of this video, I'll create a brand new project. I do this by creating a new folder. I call this Nodemon example. Let's direct into this folder. Now we have to initialize a package.json file. I do this by running yarn in it. Press enter to everything. Now let's navigate into our IDE. I use Visual Studio Code. As you can see right here, our package.json file has been created successfully. In here, I'm going to create a new file. I'm calling this index.js. This is going to be our application. I'm going to create a really simple add function. This function requires two parameters, which then add those two inputs together. Yeah, that's an add function. <laughs> then I'm going to console log this function. So for this function, the expected output will would be three. To check if our application is working properly, we would uh, need to start our application. Usually we do this by running node Wait, let me clear this so it's easier to see for you. So normally what we will do is we run node index.js. Oh wait, I have to save it. Let's run it again. And as you can see, this function is working properly. The annoying part about this is every time when we make a small change to our application, we would have to restart the application over and over and this becomes very annoying over time. So let's say I make this function into a multiply and when I save it, I would have to run this function again to see if it works properly. Sorry. Save it. Node index adjust. So this becomes very annoying when you have a lot of changes and you want to check if the changes are working properly. So now let's add Nodemon to our project. We do this by running yarn add Nodemon. I'll add this as a dev dependency. If we now navigate to our package.json file, we can see Notemon has been installed perfectly. You can see it here as well. So what we can do now is create a script tag. I call this dev. And in here I write Notemon index.js and save it. And what we can do now is when we run yarn dev, it will run our application by running Notemon index.js. And as you can see, the function is still working properly. So basically what Nomon does is it automatically restarts your node application when file changes in the directory are detected. So even if you're running a different file that's in the same directory, it will still restart your application when a change has been made. I can show you this by creating a new file called test, test, oh my god, test.js. And you already see it restarted, but let's say I add a console log here and I call it test and I save it, it restarts it. And for example, when I require the test function or the test file, you can see the console log is here as well. What is also useful, let's say, for example, I remove this curly braces and I save this. You can see Notemon throws a syntax error. This can also be very useful when you're developing something. So I think I covered everything about Nomon in this video. I hope this video was any useful for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask or contact me. Make sure you drop a like and a subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.